In 2016, a study was found that you can backwards time travel. You can backwards time travel by lightning. Time traveling is possible by lightning. And in the Back from Future movie, you can see that they use lightning to backwards time travel, which theoretically is possible. And it ties in with the physics of time travel. So could we invent a car that could be powered by lightning faster than light? The question is, yes, we probably could. But should we? Now, lightning, as we all know, is a very, very powerful. Very, very powerful in our world. And can cause major damage. But as time traveling goes, lightning could be a source in the future that could help us time travel. Like they do in Back in the Future. Now... So now, as you can see down here, we got lightning. Incredible illusion makes images time travel. Well, you heard that. Scientists have proven that lightning can make things time travel. It's not even, it's actually, they could actually event backwards time traveling through lightning. And that's how we could sooner or later have a car from back in the future could be made from lightning and could be just as fast as the speed of light that could possibly or theoretically take us into the past. Now is it sci-fi? Not really. Is it possible? Yes. But it's not about is it possible, it's about how you're gonna get there. How you can actually take lightning and merge it with a car to be as fast as speed of light. The question is the technology, and right now we sort of have the technology. Now, the invention will take lots of fails because, in order to merge lightning with a car to make it high powered, you know, it's gonna be like, um, it's gonna be like the odds are against you because. Time traveling, as we all know, theoretically is impossible without the speed of light. We would need the lightning to time travel. And the thing about lightning is you can't just hold lightning in your hand. It's on a, it's on a theoretically, it comes from the, the earth. So you can't literally just hold a figure or an object in your hand. That's the thing about lightning is, in order to make a lightning car that could be powered by, could be just fast speed alive to backwards time travel, we would have to have something to get the lightning. Now, lightning is from the earth, but it also comes from the clouds. So maybe the moisture hypothesis, but I think this could also tie in with how it could be possible, is moisture. Maybe if we contract enough moisture in Newtons to merge them together. Take that, theoretically put it in a car, and then hopefully it might light up as lightning. Now, what I'm going to go into is that um, riding in a car with lightning, you're going to die. It's just theoretically you're going to die. So, you gotta make it, somehow you gotta make something that could stop the lightning from killing you as you time travel. And that's where leather comes in. We could use leather as a source of protection when we go into a car with lightning that could travel. As we take lots of leather, we leather the car out put it on our seats, and we get leather on ourselves. We go into the car. You know, we have the lightning in bolt. Now, it's going to be going really fast because the speed of light in physics is nowhere close to 
nowhere close to how fast a car could go. Like, that's breaking physics right there. The lightning would be going faster than you probably would have ever, no, I mean ever experienced. Like, it'd be a death mission. Now, theoretically possible, there is a possible way. You could do it without dying. Now, we already got the protection in. We got leather. Now, we have to figure out how you will not die from the speed. Now, speed is very much so more of an illusion. Because your body just feels a speed. But what if your body didn't have to feel speed? And that's where it ties in. Maybe, maybe just somehow, maybe we could invent something that our body would not be able to feel how fast something is going. And then we could theoretically survive going at the speed of light. Now, I would call this a lightning bolt car. And from the back in the future, and like you see down here, the future today is how I am, am made time travel possible. Now, this car theoretically could be real. And what I'm thinking is that back in the future is car powered by lightning. We could do that now. We could do that. It's just that we would probably die doing so. And we would break the time of physics. Now we're talking about the speed of realm. It's the speed of light. When we're talking about speed of light, there is no physics for that. That's on charted waters we're getting into. But just imagine how cool that would be to have a car that could go backwards time traveling through lightning. Now I already said that lightning is a source of earth and that we can't really contract it. But what if we didn't contract it, but we invented some sort of technology as it's probably going to take. We could invent a technology that when lightning hits a certain object like metal. That it would light up the car and it would give it power of the speed of light. I think my idea could actually go a long way. And when I say metal hits something in this car, you can see that the metal hits it, which powers it to go as a speed of light. And I was thinking it would be like a charging battery. It would be like the lightning hits the car, right? And it's all metal, but inside it's all leather, so you don't die. It hits the car. And then the car gets really fast and goes into the speed of light. And that to me is how time traveling physics could actually happen. Now, I think that, you know, this would be amazing. And I think that something like this could eventually happen where lightning could be a source of time traveling. We've all imagined, you know, going back in the past and seeing what, you know, we all missed out on. And, th and things that we just wanted to go to the past for. And lightning is our source and back in the future kinda kinda could back in the future's car could predict how time traveling backwards would work now this car going in lightning that's our future that could happen so now if you think so I mean this is a theory and I think it's theoretically possible if you don't um yeah I mean this is just a theory I think my theory could be possible. So now you think about a battery. Now let's go into the battery physics. You think about a battery, right? That charges something. So when you think about back in the future and the car that gets hit by lightning, that's like a charging. That's like a charging cord that you plug in and it goes. And that's how something like this could be major. And remember, this was um, figured out in 2016. So not too far off from 2015 when this movie took place. Since this was figured out in 2016, imagine in the future how this could actually be possible. Now some people think that lightning is an illusion. Lightning is sort of an illusion, but think about illusions. And illusions are more of things that we don't understand quite yet. And I think that back in the future might have just predicted, predicted a way that time traveling theoretically could be possible. So this is part two. I just cleared up the timeline. This is part two. This is going to be my final chapter. So disagree or agree. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.